When you are on any Google screen and you see this waffle or nine square, uh, I'm sorry, nine circle square, uh, you want to click that. That's going to open up your Google Apps. Then you're going to scroll down until you see Meet. For me, that's located here. For others, it might be located somewhere else. If you don't see it on here, you can scroll all the way to the bottom and choose More, and then you can find it there. Okay, I'm going to come back up and choose Meet. It's going to open up this nice screen, very simple here. It says, plus, join or start a meeting. I'm going to choose that, and then I am going to type in a title. So if this is a small group, I'm just going to type small group. I could also type my last name. I could type test room if I just wanted to give it a try. You can call it whatever you would like. Okay, so I'm going to call it small group and then continue. If this is your first time to Google Meets, you may need to choose allow access to the video and the camera. That will be very important to do so whoever you're meeting with can see and hear you. Okay, over here we have a button that says join now. Right now, you are not part of this group. You just created it. So you will need to press join now. Okay, the first thing that comes up is this information screen. This is very important because this is the information that you will want to share with your students, your families, or whoever you are meeting with. Okay, You can simply press copy joining info and then it copies to your clipboard. You could copy just the link and then paste that in an email or on Seesaw or on Google Classroom. You could add people and you could add people to this message just like you would search for people on an email. So let's say I have students or families and I'm not sure what their emails are. I'm going to copy this and we are going to go to our Seesaw account because that is what I'm using with my class. In my Seesaw account, I'm going to add a student work because this is a link. I'm going to paste that link in here and press the green check mark. To let my students know what to do, I'm going to caption it. I'll press the green check mark button. I can record that so they can hear my voice if I'd like. And then I can press the green check again, and I'm going to choose who I'd like to receive that. So I don't want all students to receive it, because not all students will be part of this. Instead, I want Charlie and Hannah to, be, to receive it, and I will send it to Grace separately. Okay, I can choose where I would like this to go, if, if you have that option set up. And then they have the link. Okay, so now they will just need to click the link here. I'm going to stop and then I will pick up um, with an iPad view pretending I'm the student so you can see what that would look like from their view. Here we are in the student view. I'm in the Seesaw app acting as student Charlie. Charlie has clicked the link and it's taken him to Safari. He's being asked if I would like if you would like to access the microphone and camera and Charlie's going to press allow. From there, it asks, what is your name? And students will need to now enter in their name. When they press ask to join on your teacher screen, it will show that that student is asking to join and you will press allow or accept. That will allow the student into your room. And then they get to see you on their screen and take part in the small group.